Create a journal to sell on Amazon KDP for free in 2025. This video will show you in three steps how you can publish a journal on Amazon KDP in 2025. Now, there's a few popular videos on this topic on YouTube already, but I've noticed they are quite dated, so I want to do a new one completely up to date. So there are three main steps you need to be able to publish a journal. You need to, one, have a book cover. Number two, you need to have the internal pages of the notebook or journal. And number three, you need to be able to upload it onto Amazon KDP. So the first thing we are going to look at is the book cover. So the first thing we need to do when we are creating a book cover for our journal is make sure that we have got the correct template. So I am over here on the KDP Amazon cover calculator. Now what we're going to do is for this example we're going to put in some information. So we are going to be doing a paperback journal. It's going to be, uh, the interior is going to just be black and white lines. Um, it's going to be just on white paper. The reading direction is going to be from left to right. The measurement is going to be inches and the interior is going to be six inches by nine. So those specifications are very common for a journal on Amazon. Last thing, we're going to put the page count in as 100. Now, if we just pull this down, we're going to go to Calculate Dimensions. And now we're going to download the template. That will download a zip file, which then you need to unzip to be able to see the template. Right, so I have unzipped that, and as you can see now, I have a book cover template. Now, our book is going to be 6 inches by 9 inches, yeah? But what we're really concerned about is the overall dimensions of this entire template, which is 12.475 inches um, by 9.25 inches okay so the 12 inches is obviously across here and the 9.2 inches is up here okay and when we are going to be designing our front cover is going to be here of course our back cover is going to be here and whatever we're going to do in our spine is going to be here now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we stay away from these red zones these red zones are where the book is going to be potentially cut or creased so any design elements we want to keep away from that also it shows you where the barcode is going to be stamped so if you've got any sort of nice um, design aspects you want to stay away from that particular zone okay so we have now got our template the next thing that we need to do is to have a design program which we can start to design our book cover on and use this template that we've just downloaded. Okay, so if you are wanting to do this completely for free, then I would use Canva.com. Now, if you have a look on Canva, you can see here that they have got a completely free plan, uh, which isn't going to cost you anything, but you can still design these book covers. Okay, so what you would do is you'd go over there and press the Get Started button. Once you are logged in, you want to go to this button, which is Create a Design. And that will pop up this Create a Design light box. What we want to do is go down to custom size and then we want to make sure that we change the units to inches and what we want to do is make sure that the width and the height is the same as the overall dimensions on that template that we have just downloaded 12.475 by 9.250 and press create new design. Now what you will see here is you will see our design and what we need to do is we need to first label it. So let's just label this journal 6 by 9 100 pages just so that you know what you are doing. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to take the template that we downloaded off the KDP cover calculator and put it into this Canva program. So if I just go to uploads and I navigate to where I have got that template, I simply just pull that into the uploads. Once that is loaded, I will then click on it, which will put it onto the design. So now I've got the template on the design. Now what we need to do is pull it into the corner and it will snap into the corner like that. And we can pull this down 
to this side and that should just snap in place too. Now we have our template on our design and we can use that template to position our design elements. So the first thing we need to do is give this a background because obviously this isn't going to look very good on Amazon. So if we just go to elements and we just pick a basic shape, we can then cover this book cover with this basic shape. Like so. Now, at the moment, we don't need to worry too much about the color. But what we can do is if we click on that shape that we've covered, if we just press this button, transparency, we can bring that down so we can still see where we are designing. Now, at this point, we need to talk a little bit about licensing on Canva. Now, Canva has pre-installed fonts and pre-installed creative assets. Now, the problem with using those creative assets and the fonts is that you don't own the copyright to them if you are using them in your designs. So when you go to upload your cover onto Amazon KDP, you have to certify that you own the copyright to um, your design. Now, in the case of Canva, you don't actually own it, okay? So I am on this page here, which is all about copyright ownership of designs made in Canva. And if you just scroll down to this, this is all about a print on demand service using designs that you've made in Canva. And if you look here, some third party print services may require you to agree that you own copyright in any design you upload to their service, which is what Amazon KDP requires, okay? If that's the case, you can't use Canva content in those designs because you don't own the copyright in that content. You only have license to use it. So what it means is that you can use Canva to make your book cover, but you can't use their fonts and you can't use their creative assets. But we have got a solution for that. If you go over to creativefabrica.com, it's got lots of fonts and it's got lots of creative assets which you can download for free. You get a license to them, so you've got the license to use them. And when you use them in various combinations, you then own the copyright and then you can use that for your Amazon book covers. So I'm just gonna type into Creative Fabrica here, flowers. Then I'm gonna scroll down to the section that says freebies. And then I'm gonna have a look down for some flowers that I like the look of. Flowers watercolors, let's have a look at that. So this looks really good. So what we can do is if we download this, you can now see that I've got a license key which allows me to use these watercolor flowers. And if we use them in a unique design, we have got the copyright too. A lot of these creative assets from Creative Fabrica are also zip files, so you will need to extract them before you use them and upload them onto Canva. Now you would upload them in exactly the same way that we upload the template. So as you can see here, I have pulled those creative assets, the, those flowers, into Canva and they are currently uploading. Right, so they are all completely uploaded. So what we want to do is we want to decide what colour we want our background. So what we can do is if we just click onto this, let's kind of start it off at around kind of here. And let's see what that looks like. Let's just turn the transparency back up on that. And let's see what it looks like. So it's kind of like a yellow color. So let's bring that down. And let's just start with this sunflower. So I've clicked on this sunflower. We can put that there, possibly. Maybe if we just twist it slightly, give it a bit more realistic kind of angling. Then what we can do is if we just take that and we can just duplicate it. But now this time we can flip it over. So if we flip it this way, now that can kind of go there. But if we just twist it again, give it a bit more possibly there. And we can play around with this a while. So if you just click that one, hold down the shift and click the second one, we can now group those together. And we could just pull that into the center if we can get it within the red zones. We bring it up to about 
there perhaps. Now what would go nice with those? Let's just see if we can put in... Let's try these bluebells. Maybe we could have a bluebell here, kind of in the front. And let's duplicate it again. But this time, a little trick, if you just make it a little bit bigger, it will seem like a different type of image. So if we just flip that vertically again, and we can kind of put that maybe... I don't want it to be the same height. Maybe there. And then what we can do is if we take another one, perhaps this one, this pink one, and we can shrink that down so it's not overpowering. Move that to perhaps, I personally think that's a bit too big, maybe here. And that gives it another little something, doesn't it? Okay, so you can see how you can kind of build these up. Now, if we bring the transparency back, let's see how that is looking. There we go. So we can see that that is starting to come together quite nicely. Now, another thing that you would want is you'd want some sort of label. Okay, so I've got some um, pre-done uh, fonts which I've uploaded uh, from Creative Fabrica. So what I'll do is I'll just start off by putting um, just a basic heading and we'll just call that notebook. I know, let's call it journal. Very good. So let's place that kind of here in the middle and at the top. Now, let's just change the um, font. And you can see here that I have got some uploaded fonts here. And I've got the license key for all of these. So let's just pick a nice one like this. Journal. Let's make that nice and big. Wonderful. And let's just see how the black goes on the uh, yellow background. So let's just bring the transparency back. And that's kind of how it's looking. Now, we could, again, angle that if we wanted to. Yeah. Or you could put maybe perhaps an effect on it. So we could give it, um, we could press this, which kind of lifts it a little bit, darkens it. You can turn the intensity up and down. With that sort of thing. You could give any one of these effects if you like. You could even give it a bit of a curve. Now that curve is obviously extreme, we don't want that, but you can kind of give it a bit more of a natural curve there perhaps. And if we bring that back down to kind of zero, and that's given us kind of a really nice cover. Now one thing that um, I always like to do with my journals and notebooks and things like that is to make sure that this spine is kind of covered, okay? So the way we can do that is just by going to Elements, use a basic square, bring that down so it's covering the, um, the red zones equally. Just like that. Then we're going to bring it above and then I'll just pick a complementary colour and it's probably going to be black if we're using the uh, the black of the, uh, the font. Okay, so if we just put the transparency back on that, there is our cover. Now what I would say is this, this element now is, is on there so we want to kind of move this away. So the way we do that then is just by grabbing this and we can just pull it to the side. And if we just shrink it a little bit, just make sure that we're probably bring that up a bit higher. Bring the journal up a little bit higher as well.
then if we bring the bluebells up now to about there bring that to there make that bigger that can go in there and then this little maybe there actually and then this one can go there but we'll have to make it smaller so it doesn't cover it right so there we go so let's just double check that we're not hitting any red areas all clear here all clear here perfect so the last thing that we need we can, we can do is we can download it and the way we do that is just by going to this share button and we will press download and we will make sure that it is the PDF print option so we're going to press download now that will download you your book cover which will work on Amazon KDP the next thing that we need to do is your interior your pages the quickest and easiest way to do an interior for these sorts of books is to go over to selfpublishingtitans.com and go to their free resources, the Low Content Book Maker. So we'll click on that and you can build the interior of your book really straightforward. Let's just go 6 by 9 inches, which is the book that we're doing. Press Next. And what we are doing is we are wanting to do a kind of like a notebook style book. So what we do is press notebook page, get rid of that first word page and then we're going to press this over and over again until we are getting a hundred. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until we get 100 pages because that's how big our journal is going to be. Now it takes a few seconds but you can see it, it works really really quickly and it's actually quite fun to hit these buttons so many times. So let's just keep doing this until we get 100. There we go. So we just go to next. Right and it comes to this, this particular page here right now. What we want to do is we want to select bleed right. Now there's two different ways that these kind of books work. It's either bleed or no bleed. Bleed is where the lines of the notebook will go all the way to the edges of the book, okay? No bleed is where the lines are sat inside, okay? It's really as simple as that. Now, I prefer journals and planners and uh, notebooks to have the lines that go all the way to the um, edge of the page. So, I'm selecting bleed for this particular example. So, you can change the style of this as well. We can go to a narrow style. And because this is a 6x9 book, we probably want to make these a little bit bigger. So if we just kind of move this uh, up to about there, I think. And perhaps we could even do it wide. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty good one. Or maybe, maybe that one. There's lots of different things that you can do, okay? But what you want to do is once you're happy with it, you just simply download it. You'll just go to next and you just go to the download page. That will produce a file which that you can then use to do your interior of your journal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one myself and I will put that on my Gumroad store which that you can download for free so you don't even have to do this step if you don't want to. You can just go and download that and use that in your journal when you are creating it on Amazon KDP. So the next step is for you to head over to Amazon KDP and create an account or log in. Once you are logged in, you are presented with a screen where you can upload your book. And this is what the screen looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the create button. And what would we like to create? Well, today we are doing a paperback, a paperback journal. Okay, so we need to put in a book title. We're going to put in floral journal then we're going to put in 100 lined blank pages for notes or anything you like there we go and as we go down we need to put things like the author now what you can do is you can put in a brand name if you like 
or you could even put your first name and your last name if you want or even use a pen name. For this we're just going to create one off the top of my head. I'm going to call this um, Ben Pen. <laughs> ben Pen. Okay. Um, and then if we've got any contributors, which we don't, then we need to put in the book description. Okay. So these are things like um, it's a six, six by nine journal, 100 pages lined. Okay. Obviously you'd put a bit more effort into it than this, but I'm just showing you in this particular example. Okay. So I own the copyright to this back to the point I was making earlier. Um, obviously there's no kind of, uh, limitations there. And so the primary marketplace, pick your primary marketplace, which you think you're going to sell this book in. If you're in the, if you're in America, then .com. If you're in the UK, UK, I'm just going to leave it for .com for now. Or most of my books are in the .com. Um, then this is a low content book. So we're going to select it as a low content book. Now, what we need to do is we need to choose some categories that this book falls into. So we're going to click on here. And we're going to go to um, education and we're going to see what we've got in education. Now we need something like um, writing, I think. So let's just go to teaching, see if there's anything in here. Education, teaching, school, homeschooling could be anything like that could be in general subcategory. Let's have a look here. Instruction methods. Language arts. Okay, that's one. The next thing, let's have another look, see if there's anything else here. Business and money. Let's see if there's anything here that could kind of fit it. Education and reference. Education. That could work. And Lastly, let's have a look for another one. Reference. Word, language and grammar. Okay, so study and teaching would be a good one. Yeah, and you could even put something like communication or something like that. Okay, it needs to be kind of loosely related around kind of writing, doesn't it? So save categories, very good. Next thing is your keywords. Now keywords are very important. It's how people can find your book on Amazon. So we need to put things like notebook. We need to put things like um, notebook for a particular audience. So you could put women, you could put kids, you could put men, you know, whatever you want. But then we've got floral cover, don't we? So floral, yeah, we could also put flowers, yeah, um, journal, planner, um, and you could even put something like um, shopping list, something like that. Keywords that people would type in to find your particular type of book. Okay, so we are ready for uh, to release. Yeah, so we can release this book now. So let's save and continue. Okay, so this is a low content book, so we don't need an ISBN, okay? The print options, we are on black and white paper. The trim size is 6x9. And this is where we're going to select bleed. And remember, bleed is lines all the way to the end of the page, which I think looks nicer in a journal. So select how you want your um, paperback cover to look. So a matte effect or a shiny effect. Now I always prefer a matte, so we're gonna leave that. Next thing we're gonna do is upload the manuscript. So if you use the one that you've downloaded from me, you can use that now. Okay, so the interior is now uploaded. The next thing that we need to do is we need to upload a cover we already have. And we don't need to select this because we don't have a barcode. So we're going to go to upload your cover. 
Right, so the book cover has now uploaded successfully. Now there's this box here which is AI generated content. Did you use AI tools in creating text, images and translations in your book? The answer to that is no. Okay, now you might have used AI images. If you did, you need to disclose it at this point. Lastly, we need to go to the book preview to see how the book's going to look as a digital proof. So press launch previewer. Right, and as you can see here, the print previewer has shown us our cover. Very good. And if we press this big button here, we can start to go through our journal, which again is just lines. And remember, all the lines are all the way to the edge, which I think looks better for when you are writing in it. Okay, so what you can do is you can look at all the way to the end if you like. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to approve that. So now we've approved everything on the content, we just need to pull this down and you can see here it's going to cost $2.30 to print this book each time, okay? Now when somebody buys the book, the print cost will come out of that purchase price, okay? So I'll explain all this in a second when we go to the next stage which is pricing, so save and continue. Okay, so we can keep this as all territories. We've got the primary marketplace set already. And what we can do is we can put in the price that we want to sell this book for. Now notice, it needs to be a minimum of $3.83. But what we want to do is I like to make about between a dollar and a dollar and a half per book. So what we can do is experiment with the price of this book until we get that dollar, dollar and a half, dollar and a half. Okay, so the printing cost here is obviously 230. So when someone buys it, let's just say for $6.99, you will get a royalty of $1.89, which is about right for these sorts of books, let me tell you. So I think $6.99 is a good price point. Now with the Amazon.com price set, you can then go down and change manually all the different prices for the different stores. Now what I tend to do is I tend to make sure that the um, last two digits are 99 on each particular store just to kind of make it kind of um, neat, right? So if I sell this in uh, the UK, I'm getting £1.66 uh, for each sale, which is a little bit better than that one um, in the US. So you could go down and do all those like that. Once you are happy, all you need to do is just press publish your book. And there we have it. Floral Journal 100 lined blank pages for notes or anything you like by Ben Penn. $6.99. That will take Amazon around 72 hours to actually publish your book so it's available to buy on Amazon. And there you go, in three steps, creating your own journal to sell on Amazon. If you found this video useful, please leave it a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And until next time, bye.